I'm happy to be here. Yes, we're so happy you're here. Yeah, very much so. Yes. So we actually like linked up with her through the other interview that we was on. Was it a week and a half ago? The, sh- the bank high hour. So the, then at the bank high she hour, she was on the show with us, and you know her vibe was amazing. And thanks, you too. Now she's here, and we're so excited for our tenth episode. Of, and this is like, because last week we had two other women here. And before that, we just really had like all guys. So mm. to have we were like, you know, some more feminine energy. So we had two women here. Right. You mentioned that last yes. time. Yes. We had two, two women here last week. And then now we have you. And we're just like so excited because you're so amazing. Thank you. So, yeah, you're like a big deal in the upcoming like dance hall world. Like we we know people that know of you, and they're like, oh shit! Like so we're like, oh shit! Like you know, my like, oh, shit. 
<laughs> and I think that's really dope because our ninth episode was also um, full of feminine energy. And mm -hmm. um, for it to be our 10th episode, which is kind of like a landmark because a lot of people aren't really consistent. And in the beginning, we weren't as yes. consistent and we are not afraid to admit that. But we are um, dropping the show like every <laughs> five weeks. That <laughs> so we're super thankful for the people that are um, still tuning in with yes. us and for the people that are hanging in with us and that's like checking in with us right now. Like. Um, Miss Moncherie, can you please tell us, um, let's start by the name. Where did your name come from? What does your name derive of? Um, I'm St. Lucian descent. We speak French Creole down there. Okay. And Moncherie is like a popular French name too. Mm -hmm. Does it mean yeah. anything specifically? It means my sweetheart. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're a sweetheart? No. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't believe that. That's I don't nice. believe that. Like, I think she's like the sweetest thing ever. Like yeah. we've met her, and she's been really and sweet. She has like jump. this nice soft voice, like the sensual, sexy. Like I, I mean, then again, <laughs> in her song, she's talking about how pom pom fat up in our drawers, and oh. that's which is one of my favorite lines. So oh. I don't know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, yeah, for the most she's part, like, moving on. <laughs> Don't be shy now say that line. because that's that's the song that you that's what you gotta tell me. I'm like, who yo, wrote that babe. Line? Uh, <laughs> who wrote oh, it? I wrote that line. Uh -oh, yeah. uh -oh. She co-wrote it. Who's okay. she? Because friend. the camera can't yeah. see her. Who's that? Yeah, Keisha. Yeah. Okay. Keisha. But Shout she, out to Keisha back she there. only wrote like a she few lines. She got the straight face. But it was it was. <laughs> She only wrote like a few lines, mm -hmm. to be honest, because mm -hmm. um, I was stuck, and she's like, "Why don't you do this?" She also like writes songs. I was like, "Okay, that's what's up." And it worked out. Yeah. Okay. But I, I know. I want to know because you know that's special to me because I wrote that line. Right. Mm -hmm. You did it. <laughs> but she collaborated in some way, right? Yeah. In some way, you know. <laughs> Great. So, I mean, so you're from St. Lucia originally. So, clearly, you know, you have a whole bunch of, like, reggae influences and, you know, dance hall influences. Um, how long have you been doing music? Did you grow up in, like, the music scene? Did you have family? Yeah, my mom's a singer. My grandma's a singer. Like, mm -hmm. we come from a family of singers, like, more like in the church, though. I was about yeah. to say, normally when... Um, us from Caribbean descent have uh, family members that used to sing. They normally Where you grow from? up singing in the church. You Caribbean? Yeah. <laughs> so hold on. I'm Panamanian. We are Central American, she but they call, they call us the Spanish Jamaicans <laughs> because we literally have like, like, Basically the same fucking accent. Mm -hmm, like. mm -hmm. So uh, that's what they say about Panamanians. But however, Panamanians do participate heavily in the Labor Day Parade. Uh -huh. And we are very much invoked <laughs> in a lot of Caribbean um, activities. So mm -hmm. we are considered Caribbean for the most part. Okay. Yeah. So, so. for y'all who didn't know, she's But I know out. we always like to go, like, refer it back to the church. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, did you go to church? Did you sing in church? Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. okay. So then it just I developed off. into. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's exciting because your music, um, we've heard a few of your songs and your music, you know, definitely not church. Your music ain't about church, girl. <laughs> so. But I mean, who the fuck, like, honestly, <laughs> your parents force you into whatever they practice. Mm -hmm. So um, in regards to music or religion or whatever the case may be your parents normally are like well you gonna go to church on Sunday I'm gonna beat your ass and it's like how you gonna beat my ass that's not godly but regardless <laughs> I'm just saying. well in the bible mm -hmm. that they preach it is godly because mm -hmm. there's a lot of beatings that happen in the bible and a lot of prophets Whoa, and I think was it who was it? Abraham had slaves in one of them yeah so if you want to ask me about the bible I'm not yeah. the one look at her man. Uh, you know <laughs> I'm trying to go know. through my Rolodex of uh, Deuteronomy and Tonoronomy. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the Bible, <laughs> talks about it. And geometry, Genesis. I don't remember. <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> I don't remember shit. I'm just saying. And hold on. For our, viewers, for our viewers, we're not mocking the Bible. We just realistically are... Um, I on forgot. a different level of understanding when it comes to spirituality. And nine times out of ten, we know for... A, a, probably a little more than half of our I viewers. I forgot. You grew up in the church <laughs> and you probably forgot how that shit goes. Yeah. So. But it's in there. You know, you're supposed to you know, spank your kids. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. But continuing on, you know. <laughs> so, what was you saying? You were saying that what? No, I was basically saying like in regards to like the Bible yeah. or like church and stuff, your parents don't really understand you yes. when it comes to what you want to do growing up. So um, on the road of growing up, did you always know that you wanted to be an artist, like singing artist? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, you know, in terms of that, like, I grew up in the church. My grandma is really the more religious one, but my mom isn't that much religious. She's still religious, but she's mm -hmm. more, like, open-minded. Right, you know? right. So she, Absolutely. I was raised to be open-minded and, Absolutely. like, think for myself. So she's not like, all right, you're talking about um, Pum Pum and all this extra Well, now songs. she is. As she's gotten, like, older, she's mm -hmm. gotten a little bit more, like, sentimental when it comes to that. But mm -hmm. I'm at a point where... You're grown. Yeah. That's not... That just doesn't I'm matter. grown, mama. I can do what the fuck I want to do. Yeah. Not me, mom. I'm not talking about me. <laughs> she she <laughs> talking about her too, mom. She talking about herself too. She I'm not talking about me. She trying to come out. She, I'm coming out. Stop that's what it. she gonna do. That was a song. I feel like that's for like gay people. Like it's not really like not I mean, necessarily. I it, but the gays kind of like took that into their own. Mm -hmm. Like I'm coming out. Thing so you know. Well, was that gay for gay people? Do you know? No. All right. So I know one thing. <laughs> I know that um like. Things that become when we talk about um, sexuality and mm -hmm. it being like same sex in regards to relationships, mm -hmm. that Caribbeans are very heavy on like None we don't that. want well, no like we can go back to the whole religious boy thing. and stuff like yeah. you know what I mean because most uh, people who live in the Caribbean mm -hmm. are very right. religious absolutely mm -hmm. and in the Bible it's a very homo homophobic thing. You know what I mean? So, but also in the Bible it says that you need to love your brother and sister no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, how do you stand on that? Um, well, that's true from that perspective. Yeah. But yeah. pastors perspective, yeah. and people who go to church to learn and stuff like that—they right. don't really. I don't. I don't think people really like read the Bible and understand it for themselves. Mm -hmm. I think they just go to church and just like feed whatever the pastor because they're supposed to know and they're supposed to do the right things and you know what I mean. So, how do you feel about that? About what? About like homosexuality in um, well, music you sleep or. With the chick? Huh? Would you ever sleep with a chick? Would I what? Would you ever sleep with a chick? Sleep with a chick? Would you ever sleep with a chick? Um, Meaning a female, <laughs> just in case, because JB talking fast. Let's get straight to the chase. Would you ever sleep with a chick? Yes. I mean, if a bitch want to lick my pussy, then you know what I mean, but... <laughs> but is you licking? <laughs> is you licking back? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> So, so you never yeah, no, look at a Oh, hell fucking no. Okay, I feel that. No. I feel that. So it's straight. One, that's one. kind of what I say. Like, like <laughs> y'all selfish, and that's like, why. Like, that's like, why ain't no bitch gonna lick y'all pussies because y'all selfish. <laughs> How you know that? Y'all ain't gonna have no bitch lick all y'all pussies. Foul shit. Unless y'all are absolutely. <gasps> unless y'all are attached. Ah. Unless y'all are attached oh, to a money making man. Ain't no bitch gonna just lick y'all pussy for fun. Unless they're like one of them obsessed women, and then it's like, oh my god, I just want to wake your clitoris. So, do you think it's I fair that women can? Do you think it's fair that like we can say, okay, like I let a bitch like eat my pussy, right? And then a guy will be like, well, I don't think that's cool. Would you say it's cool if I let a, a guy suck my dick? Like, is that is that? I think. Yeah, no, no, no straight nigga go. would say that first of all. Okay. And that's it. Like, mm -hmm. If you want me to be 100 and... So, also, you better run for so the hills. So why is there like the... So, so where... So I mean, know, I, I... It's not even. It's I not think, fair, right? I think, I think, I think... It's not you fair, know you know, because we could do You know that, what? Right? We, we can do that. Yeah, because we, we can, can do that. We can say that it's unfair. Okay. But I think that it's very fair because I think men and women are two different species. Mm -hmm. you that know is what absolutely I mean? correct. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, a woman can't have multiple husbands, but... A man can have multiple wives in certain cultures or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, That's true. you know, I I understand. Huh? Actually, they can. I was, don't worry. I was about to interrupt her for us. Oh girl. well, I'm but not. Edu but like I'm not. Know. I'm not educated. Uh -huh. And you know what? That's that the one, fucked up uh -huh. part that we're but, not educated on that. And also, but, if you feel like mm -hmm. you're gonna have like maybe let's say uh, a sexual relationship with a woman, but you're not going to do it back to the woman. The man that you are doing it for or with will definitely revisit the woman that did it to you. And, and he's going to be dropped. He will be dropped, but he he's not going to be dropped. Care he, he has the freakier bitch. That is not I'm true. Sorry, oh, trust me. That is not true. What, whether y'all know or not, no, two listen, guys in whether y'all know or not, listen, he I've ain't going to tell the truth. Let's talk to maniacs. So I've been in that game. situation. Look, 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 if I'm game? if I'm doing you a favor yes. and bringing another woman into the bedroom, okay. and you go, 
The thing but, is, it shouldn't. Boom! There we go. If it's a favor, you ain't winning. Period. You so doing what, it for him. So what's your opinion? On when that? you I'm leave gonna, him, it's over. Opinion. If you pay my bills, yep. Okay, what I mean, yeah. if there we go. Let's me, put money into If the you giving me like money uh-huh. for my dreams and my aspirations mm-hmm. and shit like that, you are mm-hmm. cool, nigga. We together for you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And if we want to bring a girl into the bedroom, cool. But if you go fuck the bitch afterwards, it's over. Yeah. Like period. I can get another nigga to give me money. Like. Yeah, fuck but you're saying that that's gonna be an automatic thing. I don't think that's an automatic thing. What's gonna be automatic because that you're saying that if you don't eat her pussy and then the niggas like yo this oh yeah a freak. like if you don't if you don't eat all right i'm i'm just saying as a if, hey, first of all if, know, it's if, if you're I'm going to, to have back <laughs> mm-hmm, if you're going to have a threesome and it's you a woman and another man first of all it should be a threesome out of everyone wants to enjoy you're the experience fu- you're saying this because you because you no, they, everyone wants to enjoy women, the experience. There are women who like women like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of those women. Right, so you shouldn't have a threesome. No, what do you, how, you can't tell me if I can't have a threesome or not. You, you're right, <laughs> <No>. but you, <laughs> literally you shouldn't. <laughs> right, right. Literally you shouldn't. Literally. But however, if you want to do that because but of the man, that's cool. Who, 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 and women out there who enjoy doing exactly. shit like that. They don't. They don't want... And some women don't even want you to eat their box. They just want to eat your box. You feel me? Right. Are you one of those women? What? That would <laughs> that would eat the box and not let nobody eat your box. But we already said that. No, 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 no. But you're that. but you're speaking from the aspect mm-hmm. of the point of the woman that would like to eat the box and not eat the box. So you got to choose the aspect that you're talking so from. She, no, I no, already no, did. No, 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 no. You too. You too. I'm, so not I'm eating listening. the box right now. I'm not ready for that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But you're coming from the aspect of somebody who doesn't. Care. I'm coming from the aspect of realism. So um, <laughs> we're gonna talk about. Oh, oh, oh no no no! I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Don't try to change the subject. Oh no, we're we're exactly. listening to the subject. That's that's Experience. correct. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Oh, do what you do. Go ahead. I'm listening. But you. I'm but listening. It was amazing. But see, that's wonderful. The thing. So you're so you've had a few experiences, right? More than one. Right. Right. I'm listening to you, Jay. So, <laughs> go ahead, you, Jay. <laughs> but so for someone who right, has right, right, had, or it's like that's what we want, and maybe we'll go. But oh, so you mean like that. for a woman that's never experienced like a girl on girl experience, and then you just want to enjoy it for the fact that the girl's gonna eat your pussy? Got it. Like I'm already, so I'm already, I'm already making my my nigga stick his dick inside of me. So you you're yeah. better to it with a man. Better be happy. That's like, right, right, right. You right. better be so happy. So you're doing it for the man, right? Yeah. Okay, exactly. But so you would not, be doing it for the man. Not, is what I you're mean, saying. I, I, I mean, 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 and y'all mean, think that would keep the man if you're doing something for a man with another woman? I think you said it would keep. No, I think you said it would keep. I think that's your opinion. Maybe your experience. Right, right. I don't think that means every nigga who does that is gonna go fuck with that bitch. Who okay, knows? you're right. What? You're right. You are right. We can't you're be right, naive. Girl. You're right. We can't be naive and say that he's not gonna be like, yo, this is a nasty. Because if you yeah, if you really love me, you're right. You're right. If you really love me, you wouldn't want me to be nasty with no other nigga. If a nigga, first of all, I'm gonna go suck another nigga. Halfway through, you and you know how that shit. Because if a nigga leave you to go to go fuck on another bitch that was able to eat your pussy because you didn't want to eat hers, nine times a ten, he ain't love you like that to begin with. Exactly. You feel That's me? Right. Like, I agree with that. Right this was a great. This is a great portion of crowd. We got some spicy bitches we, on the show. We fucking moved up to our second. You feel back. me? That Damn. That's beautiful. But however, um, so first of all, you are a woman that's going to be very desired in the music industry. How do you feel that you are going to deal with the fact of people desiring you all the time? If I'm you sure if you decide already, right? to be right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like I'm sure you step into rooms for interviews and things that's like that. That's why I don't go certain places. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. You know, how do you handle that? How like, uh, exactly? Because, uh, How's you, that? You know, handled? we have this whole like um, there's this not we, but. There is this whole Me Too movement and, like, you know, all this going on. And it's been going on forever, right, as far as in the industry and shit. Like, you know, you want to do this, you got to give this up, you know, suck a little, whatever. Like, well, how do you feel about that? I'm a real bad girl. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You look at me and you think that, you know what I mean? But I don't let people get over on me mm-hmm. like that, especially when it comes to my craft. I don't play that shit. Mm-hmm. So and I, I feel like, you know, you you... You there is a point where you see where things are going with whoever you're working with. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that certain people, yeah, yeah, I'm, p- certain people put themselves in situations to be yeah. used. Okay. And I just will never allow myself to be that person. I don't care if it's harder. I don't care if I have to 
you know, spend some more time, mm -hmm. longer, whatever. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't raised like that. Mm -hmm. And I was privileged enough mm -hmm. to have somebody with money mm -hmm. who could fund different things for me mm -hmm. so I didn't have to take that route. Mm -hmm. So you're, I mean, so basically you're saying that some of these bitches in this Me Too movement is like put themselves in that position. I think so. Yeah. Especially in the industry I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about anywhere else. I'm talking about the music industry, mm -hmm. you know. And that's kind of, I mean... I mean, you see all these people coming up, especially like female artists who like. And have especially like when, especially and, when drugs are involved too. Uh -huh. I mean, drugs have been there, you know. Like people be offering you drugs when you go places. They be trying to get you like coked up or like. I mean, you can, you can tell when somebody's you know? a creep. Like my mm -hmm. best friend and I, we visit studios all mm -hmm. the time, and we be like, "Yo, that person, like." Their vibe is just off. Is that discouraging, you know? though? Like, because um, as a woman, and you're, like, very beautiful, you're very voluptuous, like, is that discouraging to be like, listen, I'm trying to come here professionally. Like, I'm trying to show you that I'm about my business. I'm trying to show you my gift. I want you guys to listen. And then you have, like, all these niggas who are there trying to get you to, like, fuck with them. Like, is that discouraging for you sometimes <laughs> to be like, yo, like, do you ever feel like going off on these niggas? Because I'm sure it happens, like, more than often. <clears throat> well, for me, no, because mm -hmm. I don't, like I said, I don't put myself in that situation. Mm -hmm. If I fuck with somebody mm -hmm. in the streets because I really want to, mm -hmm. and I make you see me on purpose. Mm -hmm. So. I hear that yeah. fucking hot shit. Don't fuck with her. And my best friend is right there. She could tell you. When I tell y'all, she, she, her <laughs> best friend is right here in the background like, mm -mm, uh-huh, don't do that. Don't say that shit. And that's how you feel about yes, best friend. Yes, like, thank I'm sorry. you. Like, so and your best friend is exactly that. who? That's your manager. How, how does she? Yeah, how does she play a role in your business? She's part of my heart. management team. Okay. Um, in regards to what? Like, what does she in, do? For in in terms of like personal management, mm -hmm. like my style, um, the way the music sounds. Mm -hmm. She comes to the studio with me, just make sure I'm good and stuff like that. Nice. That's good to have because mm -hmm. I don't know industry where you have all these like sharks and people trying to like come up off of like, damn you you what <laughs> have you been like <laughs> <laughs> she talking like she experienced no we just we just know oh oh, oh. no oh. i'm just you know, no. <laughs> no but i'm just saying like you have to have like it's good to have that right hand because yeah. if you don't then you could also even if like you know you say you come from a background where you know you came from church and shit like Whitney Houston came from a background where she was from church and but shit, honestly, and then she ended like, up getting into Caribbean drugs women, and all that like, shit, you like know? we just yeah. like that's automatic. Like we're born into that shit. Like we don't choose that shit. Like you go from going to church every Sunday with your parents, and then you end up being ten. Now you in youth youth classes. Now yeah. you like fifteen, and you like, why the fuck am I here? Like <laughs> I didn't choose to be here. Let me choose to be here. Mm -hmm. And then you start seeing this pastor sleeping with the next sister, and he got a wife over here. And then you start seeing like, oh. He's singing the choir and he played drums, but he just got locked up for sl slanging some dope. But like, but because you know, Jesus like, said, all sins are forgiven. It's okay, right? Okay. Yeah, I. Right. You said yes. Nice. Listen, that's but nice, I mean, that's nice. Shit, but so you saying that? But they still do that regardless. You saying exactly. it's okay because of the, no, they don't take it the way they should. And then no. you know what? It it hurts sometimes for the people that do actually. Even though we grow up in it, we don't necessarily like have to. You don't. No one. No one said, even the Bible said, you, no, no, nowhere says that you have to go to church every fucking day of the week or every week in order to be a, a born, crew, uh, like a, a true Christian. Like, mm -hmm. you understand? Like, so if you decide to not go every week, but at the end of the day, you still believe in God or whoever mm -hmm. the hell it is that you believe in, whatever um, entity it is that you believe in, like, that doesn't mean that you can't still do what you do and still worship at the same time and do what you got to do or pray at the same time. Like mm -hmm. you can still be a believer, but not be so hell bent on going to church, being a part of this choir, being a part of that industry, being a part of this association. Like you don't have to do that. Like, I just think that people make their own decisions. You yeah. Know? At the end of the no day, no matter what, people are gonna make their own decisions. But sometimes, you know, that could. Put a like, we all know drugs decision. is not good for you. That's, That's why I, we know Whitney said crack is whack. And then, I mean, Six what ended up happening? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, how do you stay grounded, like, within all of this? How do you stay grounded? I is she, you. like, uh, does she help you stay grounded? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Because I'm in the air all the time. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Shout <laughs> out to the best friend. Like, shout out to best friends. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. 
Um, I know, like, I, I know my limits, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I just stick to marijuana. I love marijuana. Like, it's everything. And that is so never like, a drug, people. We all <laughs> know that. Y'all know that. Yeah, y'all but it, I'm just saying. We like, all know you that. You know, so mm-hmm. I never, like, I've been around, like, other drugs and stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Of course you I will. And I never even thought about, like. I say the same shit. Like, like I just smoke my spliff and look at Smoke your spliff and look at them like, okay. I'm not doing not a piece of coke. I'm you in an hour. What? We was at a fucking like. Where was that? We went to a restaurant. Oh my god! This gay dude was like. Matter of fact, no, no. I want to. I want to be detailed because <laughs> just in case he's watching. So, oh we went gosh. to um, a restaurant called Father's Knows Best in mm-hmm. Bushwick, which is becoming a very popular um, little place or whatever. And we ended up encountering. Um, there, there was a lot of um, Caucasian people in the building. Shout out to y'all. And then there was uh, another guy. <laughs> Yo. That was of uh, he he had some melanin in him and he, he decided not. to he was O D melanated and we like okay cool so he came up to us like oh my god y'all are the black girls in here how y'all doing what y'all doing so we were like, like the only almost like the only black girls in like no we the were the only black okay, girls yeah. in there black people so <laughs> basically he was super high super drunk and he's like. Oh my god, like, yeah, y'all the sisters in here, so I came to talk to y'all because I know y'all come relate. Do y'all do cocaine? Yo, straight out. He was like, because my drug, my drug man is coming right now. He Dominican, he coming right now. And I'm like, if we're doing this and we are just at a regular restaurant. Like, I can only imagine. Gotta have right. Someone you in go the to music parties, industry. And not even coke, but maybe just like how people are popping all these pills and all this extra shit. Like, like that they consider. That's kind of scary. Like that's scary. But well, I stay away from She's that. over there in this corner. I feel like she does not play no fucking games. If I could turn this. You don't. She <laughs> she does it no games. And I think you need that. You need that, and especially. So, do you feel like if you weren't grounded with a good team, that you would sometimes be vulnerable? Um, I think everybody's vulnerable. To be honest with mm-hmm. you, at certain moments, mm-hmm. um, peer pressure. You know, yeah, peer pressure, extra shit. I think I think mm-hmm. I'm a. I think I'm a like. Yeah, shut up in the background. <laughs> Eighty eighty two percent grounded. Like you know what I mean. Like that's still wild. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a big percentage. I I'm bet Bobby Brown wish he could have said that back in the day. He probably would have ended up. Well, you know, I just, fuck? I just feel like <laughs> what I'm doing, it comes yeah. with like a lot of responsibility. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I, I got a lot, of, a lot of people looking up to me. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, especially where I'm from, like not too many people get the chance to like live their dreams Absolutely. and stuff like that. Even if I'm not doing it at a level where I want to do it now, right? But it's still like oh, a we lot don't of get there. I, we believe in you. Yeah, your like, music. Exactly. We know what's gonna get there. Your music. Matter of fact, we have to go to a music break, and for your music break, I want you to sing your little tune for us because we want to hear that we want to hear that voice that we was getting before the camera started rolling yes so, um, we can go to that break right now. um the song that we're gonna use so it's you and safari give us the name of the song oh what i want how it started like what happened with that how'd you guys get up um basically uh when his whole um i was one of the first artists to work with him when he and nikki split up mm-hmm. right that's cool uh, for you because people probably was writing him off right like yeah definitely you're but did, you know, did you know that him and nikki split up when that happened oh uh, yeah it was a big it was a big thing like all over the internet mm-hmm. and stuff like that and um somebody that i was working with at that time like had a link to him mm-hmm. so we flew out to la and that's when the song happened we okay, fire. so you guys met up, and then yeah. you guys were able to do the song. So what type of person was he? Was he susceptible to doing the song? Was he like, okay, yeah, like, cool, I'll definitely do it. Or was he like, eh, he's just doing a favor nah, for his cool. homie? Mm-hmm. He's mad cool. I mean, you know, we're not close right now. Mm-hmm. We don't really talk, but. Is there a reason for that? No, I guess people get busy. You know what I mean? You feel like people get busy and people get big. People get busy? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. When they, when get, they big. get big. Uh-huh. So people mm-hmm. get busy when they get big, according to Well, you to know, your... actually, f- mm-hmm. name us, oh, what I want. What I want, <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. Want? Um, actually, what really happened is I just feel like people make time for who they want to, no matter how busy they are. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah. In every aspect, right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, so how long ago was this song recorded? About three years ago. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah. God damn! And it's just now getting faced now. That's how it be happening. When people be that recording always, songs. Some of the best songs get recorded years before. And then it pops. It. And it's like, oh, and then the artist is like, I wrote this song like five years ago. But then I'm like, yo. But that's sometimes what happens. And then when it goes, it just goes. It's so like quick question. Life. Do you believe that um, from working with Safari, do you believe that he wrote some of Nicki Minaj's rhymes? Um... I have no comment on that because mm-hmm. he didn't help me with mine. Mm-hmm. 
so. Well, do you? Okay, so do you ever have like ghost writers, or are you always writing? No, much all your I'm own always writing my songs. That's what's up. Because yeah. I feel like you know, right now we have a lot of like female artists, and I'm all for like I love females coming into the game because you know hip hop is like a male dominated game so I love females coming in right now and like doing but their thing. But she's like dancehall she's not hip hop. But even in but I'm just you know. Like dancehall at least we got more facts. leeway in dancehall than or, or or like any type of Caribbean but music. But she's working with Safari reggae. who was like a dancehall kind of hip hop artist who's still doing you know so it's like coming into you know all of this where you have people like writing their lyrics writing their like rhymes i really respect that you like are writing your lyrics word for word i appreciate that Thanks. you know what i'm saying because that's like just true creativity and it's it, it means that you're just not all about just trying to get on like this is actually what you love to do and it's inside of you not i can tell this is what she that. loves to do first that's of all when you play one of her songs she gets into like it's like <laughs> immediately like she just gets enthralled mm -hmm. into her music and I love that. No, for real. I no. love that. You should I be happy that. about that. Like, because this is like your work. You like, you know what I'm saying? I think with any artist, when they see their work out there, or see people like, you know, like reacting to the work positively, it's like, you know, you feel good. You know, so it's okay to feel good because you're doing your thing. Big so time. we're going to have you do your thing and, you know, give right us a now. Of so we're going to hit that song. We're going to get that played in. You guys enjoy for the meantime. Yes. So this is Amon Sharif featuring Fix this chain, nigga. Uh, I heard they need a real one. Call up stunt man. Hut one, kick it out the park, punt man. These other girls about as hot as one degree. I'm about to do some grown things with my Sharif. Fuck me, one fuck me, one fuck a stunt man like you, you. I bet when you get this pussy, I go stick like glue, glue. So just give me one more one Let you scream with not any language So just give me one more one I can have it all in any country So just give me one more one Let you scream with not any language So just give me one more one Okay, you got a man, but that's none of my business After I give you this, you gon' turn Jehovah's Witness But I ain't at your door, I want it on your floor I heard a slippery wet, clean up aisle four I know you small, I doubt that you can handle this dick Cause I'ma go in so deep to watch you twitch, twitch And pull it out and slap it on just a click tip Yo, goddamn, you a bad bitch Man, I yard, my name better know this John Long Give me that baba roof, it's time and I'm in sitting strong I ain't a closet though, but I'm well Hung. And this ain't spring break, but I just got but sprung I want fuck me, want fuck, 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 I had a fat piece of something for you, baby There's no way I'd go without you, baby I know that your lips aren't mine So call on me Shallow every now and then, like 
I don't know. I feel like women sometimes we feel like we don't like we gotta keep in. No, I agree with you. You know, like it's okay. Sometimes That's why I, you know I wrote it and I and write. And it's fire, like, like to. girl. Because sometimes I just don't be giving a fuck. No. <laughs> Just like when you said, that's a far we got a big dick, and we know that. Like, yo, I saw that no, shit. No, yeah, yeah. I was like, God damn. Like, I don't know if I could hit. I don't know. Like, I've. I mean, it, now you know why Nikki stayed with him for so long. You think like, it was just for the dick? Yeah, because he's a clown. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nah, I'm going to say that. No. I can say that. I don't have no time to say that. Y'all no. can't say that. I can say on. that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's I don't think cool he's a. Or whatever, but I, I feel how I feel. I mean, I think I just think for certain people put themselves out. Yeah. For certain things, you know. Correct. You know. Maybe he wants to make people laugh. All right, guys, we are He'd back from our music break, which had our beautiful Miss Monchery <laughs> here up on the show. She performed her song. Is it what I want or what you want? The name of the song. I want. The one it's what, what I, I want. want featuring Safari, which is a banger, y'all. Like, you hear that in the club? I swear to God, you have to get loose with whoever you with because it's such a great song. So thank you for performing it right now mm-hmm. on us. We, you, you gave us a little sneak peek, and we appreciate that. That's what's up. It was fire. <laughs> um, so do you have any new songs coming out? Yeah, I have a lot of songs mm-hmm. that I want to push. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I saw something recently that you just posted on your page, and it sounded like real popish to me. Um, there was a guy in the background, like I don't a know. Good if girls like, cry. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really like that. Thank you. That sounds like a um, like a store bop. Like you could be yeah. shopping, and I have another thing. song like that that hasn't been released. Yeah, yeah. I think, I that's think I'm gonna dope. put that out soon. So when do you plan on releasing that? Yeah, probably like in February. Nice. nice. I think that would be great for like a Valentine's Day pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I like so it. Are you on a label right now? Or? No, I'm independent. I do have a management deal. Mm-hmm. I have like different people that I work with. Mm-hmm. So do you, because you know a lot of artists are like independent, the way to go now, because people be trying to get like, you know, are you trying to stay that route or... Are you, you know, if something comes that makes sense, would you go? Yeah, with the label? you stole yeah. the words at my mouth. Mm-hmm. It has to make sense. I'm not stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of artists get signed and they get shelved. Yeah. And a lot of and things happen. Crazy. So I'm happy that I'm at this point where, like, I feel like I can choose, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, where I want to go, what I want to do, who mm-hmm. I want to be right. with. Right. Yeah. So I'm wondering, right, you had, how many songs did you have with Vibes Cartel? Because um, you're uh, we got sent two songs. I've heard two songs. Are there more? Or? Um, there's one more that's released on his al- last album. How know? did that feel? Like, you know, working with Vibes, you know, because he's a big, big artist. Like, you know, how was that? Um, it was definitely literally like a dream come true. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like a legend, that especially awesome. where I'm from. He is a legend. Mm-hmm. So how did that come about? Like, how was you able to get him on your song? Um, I worked myself up until a point where, like, he noticed me, mm-hmm. and um, it just from jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's no, crazy. I mean I he's he's this. in jail, but yeah. he is. But he still has. Uh, uh, excuse me, he dropped some fire <laughs> from jail. Okay, so facts. That's you not know? my baby, though. Right. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I mean, like, for you to work so hard to get noticed, you know, by Vibes Cartel, which is like a big, he's a big artist in like the dance hall industry. And not even just dance hall, like, he's recognized worldwide. Like, that's amazing, you know? So from there, you know, the next step is only up from from here, right? Because you're working with all these top artists. You know? Yeah. So, like, is that like. It's th- so crazy because that wasn't his last interview, and that's what really bothered me. What, what bothered the, you? The, he, the guy was American, and he didn't really know about, like, the culture. He, I don't know if he didn't read about it. I don't mm-hmm. know what was his deal. And he was like, yo, he was listening to Gates of Heaven, and he was like, oh, I think you should take out vibes and put French Montana. I was going to really. I wanted to punch him. Wait, he said to take out vibes and put who? French Montana. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm from, sorry, French, but come on. Hello, yo. goodbye. From the then on, I was here. like, and I love, mind you, I that's, love French that's, Montana. That's, that's, I'm a Coke Wave fiend, yeah. like the Coke Boys, French Montana. I fucks with y'all, but there's no way in heaven, never hell, heaven's gate, can you be put on a <laughs> song that heaven. has vibes? Cause if vibes cuts out on the song, it's for a reason. French Montana cannot make it any better, honestly. That's like, crazy. Period. So you probably was like, what the fuck. Like, interview is over. I didn't even respond. I just was like, yo. 
Mm -hmm. I just kept looking back at her, mm -hmm. like you. Yeah, cause she be giving you the face. She give it to you from yeah. this side, from any angle mm -hmm. that you in. She give you the face, like don't say that, don't talk about that. So, how do you feel that your manager interviews you about what the th the things that you say and don't say, or the mm -hmm. things that you might want to say, but like she'll give you the face, and then you'll be like, damn, let me not say that because she said so. How do you feel? about I that? I think we're pretty much on the same wavelength. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's not nothing that I would say right now that would she wouldn't think because i already know what to say what not to say so do you feel like sometimes you you you're about to have um what we like to call word vomit and she stops you from spilling beans because you seem like you have a very like defiant energy like you're gonna do whatever you want at the end of the day like you're gonna hear people out because for me like like i'm an aries right um and i've noticed with me like i'm very like receptive to people's advice right i'll hear you but i will still end up doing what the fuck I'm going to do? I think you have the wrong idea of me then because I'm not like that. I'm sorry, say that again? I think you have the wrong idea yeah. of me because I'm not like that. Not at all. Right. So, so, so I was she, thinking so you're something different. Who, who are you? you? Um, I listen to advice a mm -hmm. lot. I think that's why I've made it up until this point. Mm -hmm. I feel like you do. That's why you allow her to give you that type of advice. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, I mean, if you're an artist, you got to have, that's what they do. The manager's job is to be like. No, I, I well, think that's the we PR's do, job. Yeah, the manager's do. job is just to make sure that you get money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. PR. Yeah, that's the right word for it. Public, public. Is it? Public I feel like she's like a mix of like PR and everything. PR she's best, best friend. friend. So she has to come in where mm -hmm. shit happens. And you know what? It's always good to have someone like that because just in case. You fuck it up because we all have those times where it's like. I mean, I tell her this all the time. We in this shit together. That's a uh -huh, fact. Like, if, we, if I get in jump, think you, you get in jump too. Like, what's the good? If I get in jump, that's, 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 a, that's a great. That's a great analogy. If I'm, I'm getting, getting jump, fucked you up, get bitch. You get fucked up too. Take them in if I'm in trouble, nigga, you in trouble too. Fuck that shit. I tell that all the time. So that's why I try not to be like you know. I try to come home. Oh, like Donna, jump. did you do you watch Black Ink? On well, first of all, you, oh that would gosh. never happen. That oh, exactly, happen. you mess with real bad mind, not no <laughs> fucking little softies. <laughs> not dead ass, not no little yeah. softies, no little. <laughs> You ain't gonna mess with no nigga that's smaller than you. Donna no. done got her a nigga that's way smaller than her. That nigga's two feet tall, one hundred five pounds. He's, he's, he's like a little like, bit smaller. Goodbye. But he got knocked from the side by this dude. He got she knocked, knocked on the side, and then basically she Teddy, and was like, ah. Teddy knocked the wind out of that nigga. His stomach I, folded in. It was like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't but got time for that. Balls. She, she, she did jump in. She did. But okay. So even though you deal with real bad man, right, is what she said, you're telling me. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, nah, that was mad Courtney. Bad <laughs> man. Bad man. Real bad man from this fucking um, Yankee over here. Um, that even if, listen. If he so you say that they can't get chomp, like what do you mean? Nah. So, <laughs> not they they it is is almost virtually impossible. <laughs> <laughs> he could get jumped, but I mean, like, why would you They're put like, yourself no. in that situation? First of all, you ain't gonna be rolling up into no situation by with some. First of all, you have to like pass through at least five niggas. Mm -hmm. Big, big facts, mm -hmm. big facts. Mm -hmm. with so, this so, so you like niggas that that's very dominating on the scene. Um, I think I deserve to be with somebody like why who's dominant. I mean, yeah, why who's dominant? Why I need protection? Yeah, okay, I'm a but female artist. protection versus mm -hmm. dominance is different because you could be with dominant. like a corny nigga that that's just big enough to protect yeah. you. Yeah, well, I I feel like I can stand my own ground as an artist. <laughs> Fact. I feel like I can stand my own ground as an artist. So mm -hmm. even if I'm with somebody who's maybe I don't know bigger than me or more dominant or whatever, I don't think they would outshine me. Mm -hmm. So you want a nigga question. that's less than you? No, mm -hmm. not at all. I don't even care. Mm -hmm. Like, as long as he can love you right. I don't even know. Do you like? <laughs> that's not even your focus right now. Yeah, not really. You're I not don't. dating. I am dating. You're like, you yeah. know, I so date all the time. It's fun. Trial and error. You know, <laughs> if you're cool, you're cool. If you're not, you're not. Next. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. not so you're not right. looking for nothing serious right now. Um, what is serious? Serious is what is serious? You my boo, I'm your boo. You well, if, if that, else. if you that, if nobody. that said, I got like three niggas. <laughs> oh my god! 
I know that's right. Sorry to these three. I mean, hello, she's going to be a boss. When boss ass <laughs> niggas like Rick Ross or Diddy got three, four, five bitches at one time. They're going to play their role. Nothing, gonna play so. the nah, but there's this one that I'm talking to seriously. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If so how would he feel about you FBI saying that you don't care about who, who, who protects yeah, that's you? Why, that's why I said that. Mm-hmm. You got to throw it oh, out there now. You got to let him know. Shout out to Boo. Um, so, since you like the um, boss ass niggas, because I don't say bad mind, I say boss ass niggas, right? So, does that mean that you like dominant guys like in the bedroom? Or like, are you dominant in the bedroom? <laughs> No, first you of all, I just on. like to lay there. You see so. all, all, all that, all that. <laughs> she like, nah, nigga. All that eye rolling you, you just said. We about to ask you about the bedroom, so let's get comfortable. Right. I just <laughs> lay there. I lay there. You want it from back? Okay. You want it from front? You want me to cock I don't leg? believe you. No. I'm dead ass. I don't I believe, believe you. I believe her. So you don't be putting your leg up in the air and doing this. She just says like she do. She says she do. No, she if you ask. <laughs> If you ask, she will cock up the leg. If not, so then you prefer a guy to take control. I guess, yeah. So if that. a guy was just laying there, right? Like, oh, it's not happening. There's no <laughs> such thing as a guy just laying there. First no, of all, for, no, niggas be too thirsty. Now. But there's sometimes guys don't. Sometimes I've guys, never met one. Sometimes niggas be guys too thirsty. Too like, <laughs> not just how thirsty. <laughs> like little baby sometimes, dogs. Sometimes guys want you to like. Sometimes guys want you to be the one to make the move. Right. Exactly. Right. Like, exactly. All right, but we're not talking about that. We talking well, about like no niggas move. in the in the right. Like I don't know them either. Like I don't know no niggas like that. Like niggas you know, if you if you're not humble enough to come and talk to me mm-hmm. and tell me that you like me because mm-hmm. I'm a nice person, then you don't need to be with me. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, who if you really like somebody, not really that shy. Like you're a man. Like play your role. Like you know what I mean. So there's roles. There's roles. Right? We're not even going into that. <laughs> so there's roles. We're not even going to get into that. Listen, that's just what it is. I already is. know she's going to pop up and say, what role? <laughs> I'm just, you know. <laughs> oh, wait. I mean, I think that there's roles in a sense. I don't know. I feel like a man has to play a role. So I'm what are the roles? Like. We want to know. Let, let's set the standard for the roles and then we'll feed off of that. Roles in what way? What do you mean? I don't I know. Whatever like you were talking about. A protector, a provider. He has to be there to listen. He has to be there for emotional support. But I mean... Mostly, I feel like a man has to be there to be a man, be a provider, be a protector. That's main number two. Like, that's got to be there. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be there and be like, I'm going to be there with my gloves up there. Hell like, no. I'm not one of those type what? of women either. Mm-hmm. So, no. Like, I'm a tall bitch, but, like, come on, no. <laughs> 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 like, I'm a tall bitch, but I can't protect myself. No. <laughs> fuck that. Football like, I don't know. Fuck them. Yeah, I feel you on that. Like, so, um, for the most part, if y'all, <laughs> so it, for the most part, you you are dating someone, but we're, mm-hmm. we're, let's not talk about your dating. We want to know like what it is that you need from a man in order to keep you. What keeps Miss Monshuri mm-hmm. like? Because you are, you got to understand. Focus after a while, you, you're going to become an icon, and I'm, people are going to want to know what I'm you like. I'm sick in my head. To be honest with yeah. you, I'm sick in my head. Yeah, me too. I'm How like, sick are you? I'm like, this one is sick too. So I need to know what the level of sick is so that I can tell you you're really sick. I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know. You go first. Mm. I'm sick in my head. I'm so sick in me, my head in regards to... To I, get me interested in you, like, you, 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 I'm sick in my head. But what do you want? You So for you to say that, that means like, that you know what you want. So we want to hear it. That's what you hear for us. Crowns and head time. I don't know. 10. You go first. <laughs> what do you want? Like... I have what I want. Okay, you have it. So what is it? But I also smash shit up and do shit that I shouldn't be doing. But that's because I'm just that type of woman. And to be honest, men love spicy women. Exactly. If you're not spicy, he's not going to stay with you. Or he's going to cheat on you. Or he's going to do that anyway because he's a man. Period. That's kind of crazy that we have to smash up both. It is. It is. It is. No. I don't know. I feel like maybe you could bring something else without a smash. But like, I've been there while I wanted to smash. Mm -hmm. But... Your next level is smashing, Falchi. You're smashing your phone and smashing your niggas. I don't know what she's talking about. What is she talking about? <laughs> Y'all know what she's talking yeah, about? Yes, smash. If you don't smash it, somebody, some other bitch would smash it. I hear Period. You. And then that, that other bitch phone. gonna be the one with your nigga at the end of the day. Exactly. Oh my god. Facts of life. Ninety eight point nine percent of the time, of that is I the just, woman okay, with you, your man. You answered my at question. At the end of the day, you. <laughs> You, you ain't nobody talking to him. We don't know who's on the sidelines. <laughs> ain't nobody talking to him. We no, know you your girl you, is here, so you good. You better be good. Or else you're going to get jumped. 
Crowns and head ties, <laughs> double team ties. Everybody, my Sherry jumping into it. Okay. I'm gonna put on my triple X <laughs> fucking leather mask on my face and I'm gonna jump right <laughs> on his neck. With the hat. <laughs> Yo. You answered my question for me um, about the whole smashing shit and your niggas still like with you, even if you're crazy. That's just me. Like, if you wanna be with me, I'm crazy. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sick in my head. So, mm-hmm. I'm a healthy person. Wink, wink. But that's wink, just how wink. I am. Right. If I, that's it. Like, I fucked up my nigga's car the other day. Like, you go ahead. Sometimes. Not out the car. Not but outside you know the car. But you know what? It wasn't even that big of a deal. It was just a little crack. But <laughs> so it's let's that, talk about, that's his baby. Let's talk about that. Let's that's, talk about that's how us. that's his women baby. Women feel like the solution God. is so to be different. calm. Right. Like women that feel like the solution is to be But I am calm most of the times. And I feel like you just a solution me. that is to, to be like, all right, you've been pushed to the edge. So there's, there's calm and then there's pushed to the edge. It's like. So do y'all ladies feel like mm-hmm. it matters which 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 way you take in order for the guy to behave straight? Or do you feel like that's just a man thing and he has to want to do that? Yo, it's kind of crazy. It is because I like I was watching, you know, like the unsung shows or whatever. And um, there was this artist called Case. I don't know if you know who Case is. Like he's an R&B mm-hmm. singer. Right, old school, right? But he was like, he had the woman who was like, oh, like, you know, chilling shit. And then he was like, oh, you know, I found... The one I wanted, and he was like, "Yeah, she keep me my place, and she told me not not to do that, not to do that." So it's like, I mean, I kind of feel like in a way, maybe you know what you guys are saying is kind of could be leaning, you know, that you gotta. No, it's the truth. It's I've, true. I've, I've like, proven no it. False... I've proven it. Listen, right, I've seen, like... I've seen my elders mm-hmm. and like my families and women get played by men that they were so true and faithful. Mm-hmm. We have mad kids about it and stuff like that. Listen, I'm not one of those mm-hmm. at all. I'm not. I'm not one of those women. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And they always come back. Mm-hmm. Like my they best friend said, they always come, come back. They always, always come back. Once you see you, you stand your ground and you, you don't take bullshit. Always, you know what I mean? Because people in general would walk over you yeah. once you're, like, too nice and stuff like that. So Let me tell you something. You fucking with the, if a man is fucking with the girl that's like, you know what, okay, time out. I'm not going to talk to you for mm-hmm. a month. And then he's fucking with the girl that's going to smash all his shit and drive his fucking car off the bridge and then survive like and that. swim up to the top <laughs> and then be, and be back in his house making some eggs. Like, listen, nigga, sit down. You're going to eat this breakfast mm-hmm. before you go to work. Mm-hmm. He's going to lean towards that <laughs> bitch. Like, it don't matter what nobody say. That's how niggas are. That's why he laughing. That's why he giggling. Look at him. Look. No, that's but how niggas like, are. No, it's that's true. what they want. Like, like this guy. But you know what? You know what? But here, here's how I'm going to flip it on them. That's what niggas want because niggas enjoy to Yo. know the fact that a woman will go the extra mile oh, for them. Niggas like. need to be nurtured. <laughs> niggas need to be comforted. Niggas need to be taken care of because they are not as strong as they are. Pro pose themselves I know, to be. You I understand? understand like that, yeah. niggas are strong on the exterior when it comes to taking care of money and the home, but emotionally niggas are not that strong. So if niggas know that you could go off the bridge, facts. You see, look at that's that. a look fact. He over there laughing. That's facts. Niggas know, if facts. Niggas know you could go off the bridge, facts. That's hitting home for them. Look at these that's niggas. Facts. Facts. That's exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking if about. Like no, you see that? Right now. You care. They're like to this bitch forever. You want my to Fuck Exactly. They want to know. Niggas want to know. And me and niggas. Damn. Hey, niggas. Guys, guys, there's this song. Crazy bitches got the best pussy. Um, hello. Toot toot. <laughs> Hey, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's, fuck is she that's about? not crazy. That's like, just nasty. <laughs> Mav, can we edit her comment out of this? That's just wrong. I don't know what the hell she talking crazy. about. She talking about prostitutes. Prostitutes aren't crazy. They are mentally disturbed because of their past and their childhood experiences and their current life experiences. That's not crazy. We talking about normal always. bitch crazy. Some of these bitches just we not talking about prosty crazy. They crazy. Dub, I don't know what she's talking about. Dub, dub, yep. dub. Chew a dub. I don't know what she's talking well, about. Well, I'm on 58. You're on 58. Yes. I'm not, I'm not prostitute. I don't nah, know what she's talking I'm about. On, I don't know what she's talking about. Your, all right, on a 1 to 10, what's your scale? I feel like I'm at like a 7. 11. Okay. You? I'm at like a 7. 50, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like, I'm oh calm. Like, you know what I mean? Because, okay. and you know what? The craziest people show... Like, you'll think they're, like, completely fucking, I'm like, mm, love you. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna iron your clothes. Yo, did I'm you gonna make wait, it? Wait, hold on. Did you guys see the video of Kanye running from the paparazzi? Yo, he was like, <laughs> yeah. He gotta go because he had to run to that crib. That shit was so funny, son. <laughs> that shit was oh, funny. Yeah. I want to know. So it's you hear about crazy. this whole like Cardi B and like Offset situation? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, if you're like so over your nigga and you're an artist, and then he comes he on your stage, he cheated on you with not cheated, one but whatever. three women. He cheated three. on you, and then you know two at the same time, set. one separately. Crashes your set, you know, to be like, I'm sorry, bruh. I I'm just, sorry, I bruh. I just think that and he you calls know, you bro on stage. Calls you He's like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I just think that. But you're married, because we gotta keep in mind that they're married, right? Yeah. Or I don't know. Yeah. Monshery, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I just think that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I don't think she's mad. He can't do that if it's a public apology. One. Well, I think that. Yeah, I think that. Um, okay. I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't know. Um, I hope you're yeah, I think mm -hmm. that. Um, I don't think that Cardi is mad mm -hmm. that he cheated on her because I think that's just that's just that's the thing. He like, does. She's if you wanna she was dealing with that probably before what she was. Before right. Then. Mm -hmm. I just think that's the way it came out in the mm -hmm. public. Like, right. Maybe you got no fucking respect for me mm -hmm. type of shit. Exactly. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, that the disrespect, especially the other bitches, like, the f that's his nigga wife. And they like, little bitches, like, yeah. they not, like, lit. Yeah, and, like, they You they didn't cheat no on respect. me with fucking... And then... That's sometimes how it would be. Right? Justine yeah. Sky or something. You cheated on me with fucking some Instagram bitches that we don't know who they was that just got their body done. That's a big she fact. Had a baby. That's a you know? big, big fact. You go, girl. That's, a big that's why I'm not having no babies by no nigga. Like, get big the facts. fuck out of here. Big facts. That's another thing. See, this is. I had a baby by a nigga. Anyways, let's not even satisfied. go into that topic. <laughs> but that's. I think it's just the disrespect <laughs> behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> She's trying to come feed that girl. Her nigga right there, girl. Her nigga is right there. You can ask him. I didn't have a baby come. by him, but I had. I, I had a baby. So like and yeah, I now. think I I don't think. <laughs> oh yeah. Now nah, you was talking about the nigga. You was talking about the nigga. You was talking about the baby. And I don't even. I, I I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um. <laughs> <laughs> with with that man, that I don't. That's a different topic. It is, but it, it's very yeah, that's touchy. that's what I, I. That's why I think I think <sighs> that um, there's a disrespect of you know it coming mm -hmm. out like that, and now the bitches coming on live talking and about talking her about you. Yeah. Offset, like bitch, who the fuck are you? you right, know, exactly. And you crying be, like, oh, I'm so yeah, I didn't know, like, like bitch, you, you know, that, what? That's, 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 that's that's crazy. It shouldn't be his fault. It, I'm, not it shouldn't be his oh, fault, but oh. it shouldn't be like it's it's his fault. But at the end of the day. You're 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 dealing with a man of celebrity stature that you knew before mm -hmm. you you guys even got together that he mm -hmm. was already a mogul. There's Offset, there's Quavo, and then there's Takeoff. These are three men that has been in the game long before you even started with your Instagram rapping. And so, but my thing is, so shit. does that mean that we give them a pass? Yes, yes. If you marry him. I mean, if you, you marry him, you, you don't gave know. Him a pass. Like, Why does celebrity status mean that you get a pass? Yeah. I just think I just think But that, he's that done it beforehand. Facts, the yeah. only reason she's upset right now y'all don't remember Cardi B breaking up with all set twice on the yeah. internet before this happened? I don't think y'all remember. And get it you married. might not remember. And get it married. But before they And got to be married, honest, I just yeah. I don't get myself involved. Right, before they proposed That's to each other, good. before they proposed to her, because first of all, she was married to him before they even got proposed on stage with that ring. So then when he decided to do that beforehand, he already got caught cheating twice. Like Twice. The only reason she's mad now is because it was like a gang bang on Offset. It was like two, three bitches planning to fuck him at the same time. They was, and they was all ridiculous. did a live together. Yeah, that's regular. That's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it's not regular when you're a woman of that stature. Uh, and now you're married. And now you got all what these What a deals. woman of that stature. What do you regular. mean? She came up. She came in the industry as a stripper. Not yeah. to down her. But hey, like this that. is her. This is what her. This is her decision. This is what she's decided to do. I mean, Cardi B used to having fucking five sums and shit like That's that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, she. I, I, if y'all want me to be honest, I think she already knew. Because one of the girls got mad and was like, Cardi knew. And um, I think she got mad at the fact that she's trying to do certain deals and hold certain statures because now she has a daughter. 
You understand? So it changes a lot of things in regards to how she sees herself. So she wants to hold that respect. That ain't changing like, shit in how Cardi sees nigga. herself. What? Exactly. Yeah, facts. Exactly. Like, That's how I feel. I feel like she's just trying to justify at this point uh, who she is and what she. And it's like, girl, you came in this. You, you came said Cardi talking about that. She's still doing her thing with her, doing her stripper moves and all this extra shit. Like, I don't think that she's. Her, her having a daughter and it didn't to make be honest, that big of an uh, impact. Yeah. That's what she's trying That's to do right now. To, so the question was, how would shit. you feel if your yeah. man decided to walk back into the picture while you were on stage performing with a quadrillion flowers and said, take me back? And you really love him. <laughs> on stage. <laughs> how about you, Mon <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> I would take the nigga back. You would take him back? Probably, if I really love him. And we have a kid together. All right, so that's some real shit. I, I want to hear from you, you know? because you're going to be the artist. Because at the end of the day, what, she's going to break up with him, get with another rapper. Like, and he's going to do the same mean? thing. That's not going to happen. We know that. You don't so. think so? Absolutely not. <sighs> she's going to just break and not be with anyone. Cardi B is not going to be with like, come no, on, I mean, let's be real here. I feel like, like <laughs> how people be turn the turnaround in this, how you see people next day, like with somebody the week after, or especially what's her name, um, Black China. Yo, oh, I don't. That's, that's just different. Publicity. Black China she is completely be on different. The next, First of the all, next. Black, Black China cultivates her bag <laughs> off of <laughs> off of the the penises that she indulges in. Okay, so that's that's her. And money that and that's scene. and that's actually somebody who is famous. That's actually somebody who's making more money than a school teacher. And I mean, correct. Like this this world is all fucked up. So mm -hmm. I don't even like I don't even pay attention to bitches like that to be honest. Yeah. Fake you, facts. So. It's, it's but Cardi is different mm -hmm. because Cardi like she always wanted to do music. Like yeah. you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I, think, I think and I think I don't know. I, I don't I'm not gonna say like sorry, I'm not gonna say like different because I feel like everybody goes through the struggle and yeah. we all make our decisions yeah. like like all sexy ass bitches could have been strippers, mm -hmm. but some of us just choose to work three jobs and mm -hmm. go to school, like you know what I mean, and grind and maybe preferably be ho be homeless than to go strip mm -hmm. for anybody. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, I, I think she's cool. So, like, um, final decisions. Do you think Cardi B is gonna get back with Offset? They're already back together, girl. Facts. I don't yeah. know. Oh, y'all knew that. that? I, this is a thing y'all know that. I think that they. I think that they are. They've been back together. I feel like they are. Are they back together? Or are they talking about, are they having the they talks have, now? They have to keep a relationship. They have to keep a contract. They have a child. They have someone in the middle. But to be mentally back with him, I doubt that. Mm -hmm. I feel like. I think she's going to be back with him, but she's always going to resent like, him. I feel like. I feel like. Right. Compared to the other. The others. Yeah. Right. But you. Exactly. At the, at the, yeah. yeah, but at the end of the day. Exactly. No, at the end of the day, that's why I tell people all the time, like, I'm not here for the publicity stunts. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you don't know what's real and you don't know what's fake. Mm -hmm. And if your whole life is around publicity stunts, when real shit happens, how am I supposed to know if it's real or not? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, I don't know. To be honest, I think Cardi B's already fucking the nigga. Like, Probably. I believe oh, that's and sure. for her, fucking on him. For him to even come on stage and do that whole publicity thing. I don't like, think he had to bad. feel comfortable enough, in a sense, to do that yeah. shit. The so only they probably was doing something. Big facts. Like, the mm -hmm. only part I think that's really sad is the fact that the media, regardless of if she wanted to stand her ground and not have to resent him and not have to say, you know what, I want to be with this man, but I'm going to But she back. set herself up for that. Mm -hmm. she, she has. Exactly. She's she signed up for that. But, yeah. but exactly. also, he signed up for that, too. Yeah, because he true. knows that she's that's a why certified he came hoe. Out. Like, they both, she, yeah, she's a certified hoe, and she says it. Yeah. He's a certified playboy, and he says it. So you guys are signing up to be with each other and to do this, but here's the thing. If Cardi B was to do something like that, then Offset would be gone to mm -hmm. the next bitch publicly with no say-so. Like, there would be no... If ands or but offset would have another woman on his arm. Yep. The thing is, it hurts for Cardi B to have to face all of this publicity and, and have her business out there for people to be like, no, take him back. He loves you. How do y'all know her what business love is? has always been out there? Absolutely. He has her fans. He has her fans. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's like with him, like he's gonna be the I think if
if you want me to be honest, so. I think that's the only that reason shit. he's publicly apologizing so hard. I think that's the only reason he's publicly apologizing right now is because it's affecting his money. You think so? Yes, yes. He loves her, but at the end of the day, those are men that, you understand, like, that's their image. Their image is to play a chick and be out. And to that might be true. Out. Like, you know, it's affecting his, he probably might really love her, but I'm pretty sure he would do, I'm pretty sure his homies was like, yo, you a clown, bro. Like, just relax. Hit her up later on. Mm -hmm. Go give her them flowers in person at home when she gets off the stage on tour. You want to do this in front of everybody? You have two options. You know where she lives. Mm -hmm. You know where she's going after mm -hmm. this. But you decided to do this in the middle of her show. So what does that say about you? Is it say that you need the public attention? You need the public's approval? Or is it like, do you really love her and you wanted to show everybody? I doubt it because they could do anything and show everybody. Like, literally the small... He could brush his teeth in the morning and everybody would be like, oh my God, do you see the way Offset was brushing his teeth? You heard that beat? Yeah, but they put oh, themselves no out there for people to ridicule, ridicule them and mm -hmm. critique them like that. That's just the path that she chose. Like, I'm not like that. You mm -hmm. never you never catch me on social media. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, I think this, blah, 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 this girl, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's just not me. Like, Even when you get famous? Even I am famous mm -hmm. in certain countries, and mm -hmm. I still right. don't do that shit. Right. You know? mm -hmm. Like U.S. famous, like because no, you know that's, that's, based that's off even of, more scary. Exactly, that's what I was gonna say. That's that's based like, off of a little more, and it might yeah. be a little more frightening for you to not keep up to certain people's standards. Yeah, so how do you feel about that's that? That's just scary. I don't, I don't. That I don't keep up to nobody's standards Facts. now, and Good I'm not about to. You know what I mean? I, I watch how different, like, people who get, like, famous, like, I watch how they do it. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Some people do, like, publicity stunts, and you got to keep on doing that the whole way, and that mm -hmm. shit gets tired. Mm -hmm. It gets boring. People are like, oh, well, if you're going to put out a single, damn, you got to do something to exactly, promote the single. Yeah. You got to do. So, like, I look at things like that from a different pr perspective, like mm -hmm. you two. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And I feel you're right. So, um, can That's we expect anything way. new from you coming in the um, few coming. days to come, year to come? What's new? What's coming from Miss Monsheri? Um, I have a new music video that's going to be coming out like in the end of January. And Amazing. then I have a new song. Hmm? Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have a new song called Sweet Na 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 coming mm -hmm. out in February, hopefully. Just by, by yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what's up. Are we going to mm -hmm. get videos with that? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. I would love to get some videos. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to then drop into anything else like acting or no. anything? You want to stick with Right now it's music. Like mm -hmm. we focus on music. I think that's great because you're, I think that's uh, wonderful. You're, you're such um, an amazing artist, oh and your songs God. are popping. You guys are amazing too. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you so we love your energy. We're so glad you came. So, um, tell the people where to find you on Instagram, mm -hmm. any social media outlets, what they can YouTube and yes. find you. We, we Mon Sherry, y'all. The cameras are over there. I am Mon Sherry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, what's find up? her there. Find her there. All her videos on YouTube. Go check them out. Um, you know, stay tuned for everything that she has coming up next. Thank you so much for coming on our tenth episode. We're Thank so you so much. This is, this is almost like an anniversary yes. episode. Like you broke our episode, Jinity. <laughs> yes, so Jinity popped our cherry. <laughs> so we want everybody in here to clap it up right now for our tenth episode. Yes, and for because we didn't know that we would be here. here. Thank you guys so much. Um, we yep. got Miss Monsherry in the building. My name is Fal Sheen. This is Jade. And we out here. Yep. Follow us, Crowns and Head Ties. Let's get it. Thank you so much. Y'all should you. know the follows right, right by now. If y'all don't <laughs> know, then y'all better ask somebody. Yo, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Episode 10. Thank you. We see y'all next Sunday. Uh, and the song you're playing is Gates of Heaven? Yeah. Gates of Heaven. Gates of Heaven. Monsherry. I need to stop doing is amazing You I dedicate my soul Going out my mind crazy Damn, I'm gonna break the law I am whatever you make me I love you If you love me, tell me, say you love me My eyes are open Love
on the table Tell me what go on, baby Full disclosure You can just be I am whatever you make me I love you If you love me, tell me, say you love me Me love you, baby, come on up I'm gonna play you, play the piano Remember the day me meet you Come out to the yama, you say them now Give me your number, me call you Teach you not work on us, dance and go Love you, love you, baby, love you, baby You want to be free, you can drive and be crazy You do me a girl and daisy Me and your soldier, I'm in the heavy Defeat the Nazi tech From a bitch up a balance Everything gravy Baby, don't need to believe me Cause I'm safe, I'm so safe My eyes are so scared Love her All my heart has spoken Dedicate my soul